Hi everyone, this is Sandy with Sandy's Crafty Creations and this is the Finish It Friday and I am happy and excited to share that I have finished this album. I started on it I think around the 1st of October, constructed the album, did a few pages and then kind of got put on the back burner. And so a couple of weeks ago I decided to start a Finish It Friday segment on my blog and I shared that I was going to work on this album and share with you every Friday what I've got accomplished on it and so uh, this week I, each day I did a little bit on the album and I finally finished it up this morning so I want to share that with you on the front cover here and first of all this is an uh, let's see eight and a half by eight and a half I think cover yes for eight by eight pages in this album uh, this is designed with my flip hinge that I created where you just make the hinge for the uh, pages on the actual page and then you create pockets and things like that that you want for the pages. Uh, this paper pack that I used was from Michaels. I'm going to grab that real quick. It's a K and Company. It doesn't actually have a designer a name, it just says K and Company designer paper. So. It comes with 54 sheets that are double-sided, so you get a lot of paper. I didn't even use the whole pad for this, and I have some leftovers here for that to create this album. And then I used craft-colored cardstock chipboard for the covers and for the spine. On the spine here, I used an eyelet and tied all this pretty hug snug ribbon, some satin ribbon in here, and a lot of charms. This is a piece that I got from Kathy Warda. I ordered it from her trinket shop, and it's just gorgeous. The ring part fell off, and so I ended up gluing just the uh, heart segment of that on the front here with all these pretty prima flowers that I had, and these butterflies are from Michaels. So this is the cover, and then I'm going to see what I can zoom out just a little so we can see the pages better or see the entirety of it. On the front page I just left this uh, solid because I'm going to put a just a card here with a note uh, for whoever receives this and I used some real pretty bead lace ribbon some more of the hug snug here and just tied it around so this butterfly this all comes on on the paper. Uh, this is the only sleeve pocket page that I made is on the front. This pulls out and you can place a photo here and of course you could put one on the back if you wanted to so that's a photo tag that I put in there and then when you open it up this page has the back side of the pretty bead Let's see if you can see that the bead in uh, lace ribbon and I used a corner decorative corner punch to do the photo mat here this page has a pocket at the bottom and a magnetic closure. This flips up. You have a tag in this side here for journaling, photo, journaling tag, photo tags, different things that you can put in to this pocket and then this just closes down with the magnet and holds it secure. This page I loved this flower on this paper so I wanted to leave that so I put two small photo mats here and a large photo mat on this page and then I wrapped the page with the green tool and tied it into a bow and then added one of the pretty butterflies here that I got at Michael's. So let's show you the butterflies. They're really sparkly and pretty. This page has another one of the butterflies that we had on the front page on the paper. So I just put a photo mat and then on this side I also tied a bow with the tool. And for this pocket, it has a magnetic closure on this piece that lifts up like this. Whoop. And it has a pocket here on the bottom where I put a journaling mat. You could add more photos if you wanted to. You could place a photo here. Let me slide this down. Here and here. So this is just a flip segment here and it closes with the magnet. This is the back side of all those trinkets, so this is a trinket holder that I added on there to, to keep it from sliding back out of that rivet hole. The next page has another little pocket. I used more of that real pretty 
trim with the beads and one of those butterflies and some more prima flowers here. Added a photo mat and a journaling box mat here. This was just a pretty flower that I had in my stash. I thought it went really pretty with the colors of this paper, so I put this photo mat here, and then I added some of the pink hug snug ribbon like I have on the outside with that flower there, and just tied a, a loose bow and glued it in there. This one is a photo mat here with a belly band, so you will slide your photo underneath and attach it. That just gives it this extra color, pull in some of the blue. This is a photo mat here with a journaling box attached to the paper clip. So you place your photo here. It will go underneath right in here. And then I just arranged a, some different flowers that I had in my stash and another one of those pretty butterflies. This side is a card that has a flower attached, a journaling box. And I just slide it under this pretty, uh, onto this pretty paper with this large paper clip. And that is the my eight and a half by eight and a half with the eight by eight pages mini album that I finished for today's Finish It Friday. And I encourage you to join me with Finish It Friday because I know we all have unfinished projects. So if you just pick one, focus on it, do a little bit each week until you finally have finished on a Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.